Hi, this is Scott Siskin. I'm the president of First Republic Mortgage Bankers. When you need a mortgage, call First Republic Mortgage Bankers and deal direct. Eliminate the middleman. No mortgage broker fees. Stop wasting your hard-earned money on your high-rate mortgage and your credit cards. You can save every single month by refinancing. You personally can save every month by locking in the lowest rates in over 30 years. And we make house calls to the entire tri-state area seven days a week. Call 718-380-0006 if you're buying a home or you want to refinance your home 718-380-0006 now a lot of people are truly amazed at how much money we're able to actually save them and that there are answers to some of their problems um the biggest concern for most people that have been calling up today from what i've been hearing is that the payment their mortgage payment is becoming unaffordable because they were locked into those adjustables a lot of people bought their house one two three years ago where their payments are starting to rise and they they want to st- they want to prevent the payment from going any high and I don't blame them. Mm-hmm. A lot of people are living, you know, check to check these days. They have a lot of other things in their life. They have children. They have work in those two jobs. There's a lot of complexities that are thrown into everyday living. And um, at First Republic what we're trying to do for most people is just make that mortgage payment more manageable. And not only make the mortgage payment more manageable, but look at their total financial situation. Look at their credit cards. Look at their car loans. Does it make sense to pay them off? Does it make sense to keep them? Does it make sense to pay off half your bills, but all your bills? There's, there, there's a lot of people out there right now who use their credit card to take cash off it to pay the other credit card. Is that a good thing? Is that a bad thing? I mean, how? what is the outcome of that? You know, they're juggling credit cards. You know, mm-hmm. you're going from one to the other, and a lot of these creditors are offering these teaser rates where they say 1%, 0% financing, but it's short term. But only. <laughs> it's only three, six months, and then oh, bang, and then you bang, get hit over the back. head, mm-hmm. and you go, wait, I thought I had 0% interest. It's not going to stay there. That's why I love the luxury of getting into an FHA loan because there's no mysteries. Bang, you're in 5.875, you're out of your credit cards, you're out of that car loan. You know, the mortgage payment is one thing. Most people, honestly, can afford the mortgage payment, but what's putting people over the edge the last two or three years is a couple of things. Right. A car loan or two, a couple of credit cards at 20 to 30% interest rate, mm. maybe a student loan, you know, maybe an installment debt, when you add all those debts up, that's another mortgage payment. So what you're actually, what people are actually paying is two mortgages. One for their mortgage, their personal home, and one adds up all their credit card debt, car loans, student loans. That's another mortgage payment, whether they realize it or not. And really, a lot of people say, where's the money going? But when we review your credit situation, we run a credit report, and we look at every bill you're paying during a month, and we itemized it. Most people, that's where the money's going. Oh, mm. man, I forgot about it. I had that card. Mm. I still have this card. I'm paying 23%, mm. 28%. I didn't know that. You know, you got to read the fine print. And you know what? Everybody has, uh, I'm a busy person. I run around like a madman. But you know what? You got to take time and work financially smart. And you know what? Look at what you're doing. True, yeah. because you see a lot of us out there right now, especially me, I'm one of them. You know, I like right. to, uh, you know, have X amount of credit cards sure. and, uh, you know, waste them and uh, take all the cash off the credit card or wherever, the, or wherever the case is. And yet still we do forget about the other credit card and the other bills that we have to pay going towards that bill because we all get caught up in, yeah, we got we, we got approved for a new credit card. It's time to apply for it. Yeah, mm-hmm. let's use this credit card and put that one there aside. But not knowing that it adds up, it builds yeah. up on your credit. They, they all add up. And you know what? It's not one credit card usually. It's not even two. Mm. It's several cards. There's no reason really why people, and at least I feel this way, and I, I, I've gone to a lot of seminars and wealth building and financially working to your most financial situation. And most of these experts, I'll tell you, there's no reason to have 10 credit cards. You don't need 10. You don't need 10 credit you cards. You don't need 10. There's no reason to have 10. <laughs> but yet, there's many people that no, have. No, but you see, you see what it is, too? It's just the profile of having three, four, five credit uh-huh. cards. They say, yeah, uh-huh. I'm the man. I'm yeah. the boss. I got American Express. I got a um, Visa. Visa. I got a Ma- MasterCard. Absolutely. Et cetera, et cetera. Absolutely. So it's just the feeling of it, I guess. Right. Yeah. It, it, and, you know, as long as you can manage the mm. bills, but when you throw a mortgage payment in there, and then worse yet, that mortgage payment just jumped up on your $500, $700, and you just got notified last month that, 
on the October or November payment, you're not paying the two thousand. You're paying twenty five now. Right. And then you still have the credit cards piece. They didn't go away. So now you have another five hundred thousand instantly on your mortgage payment wow. and and the credit cards. And you go, wait a minute. How am I gonna How am I gonna pay all my bills? Mm. I'm only making X amount of money. How can I financially take care of my family, myself, and get out of the hole? And for most people. A lot of people are house rich out there and cash poor. True. They have a lot of wealth in that house. And if they take a little bit of the equity out and they they pay off all these outstanding debts, whether it be collections or judgments or credit card debt, installment, auto loans. I mean, you know, these cars are expensive out there. Now, you know, there's no, you know, I've seen people with eight, nine hundred dollar, you know, auto loans, two of them. Wow. That's eighteen, nineteen hundred bucks just on cars. That's no cards alone. Yeah, and then you throw the credit cards in there, and you know, you got over a mortgage payment there. So, really, what I try to do is is, is tell people, let's simplify, let's slow down for a minute, let's mm. just slow, let's stop the train, because you know the train's going to run out of, you know, juice here. So let's look at where we're going here, and let's correct it before we get in too deep. And that's where the personal evaluation by one of the loan offices at First Republic can really be of benefit to most of the listeners out there, and it's free. And there's no obligation, right. and we'll tell you straight up whether mm -hmm. we can help you or whether we can. Right. In many cases, many cases, people are astounded, astounded how not only simple their life is now because it's financial. Let's face it. If you're under financial stress and you're worried about paying either the rent or the mortgage and credit card bills, that's a big burden. Mm -hmm. You've cleared that up, and I'll tell you, you feel a lot better. Because now you're not under the gun of, you know, am I going to make my mortgage payment this month? Am I going to be able to pay that bill, that Home Depot credit, pennies, uh, Macy's, <laughs> right, whatever right. card you got? But that's the whole idea of everyone taking cash out by refinancing, mm -hmm. locking in that interest rate so they can mm -hmm. have that cash, yeah. have that extra money and say, yeah, I have the money now. I can take care of some bills and uh, feel more comfortable and not have that burden on their shoulder anymore. I mean, I've been writing mortgages for about 15 years now with, a, uh, with First Republic. Mm -hmm. And... Um, most of the people that get into trouble don't just have a mortgage payment. The people that just have one payment, it's their mortgage, and they're cool with their credit cards, mm -hmm. they're good to go. <laughs> what happens is the people, they're starting to, to drown because of the credit card bills, the car loans. So when you have one bill, folks, you're making that one bill. Trust right. me. At the end of the month, that's a manageable bill. And if you're in the right mortgage program, you're going to be fine. But what happens is people get that accumulated debt and buy those many credit cards and installment loans and auto loans, and they add up. And then your adjustment. you, you got to think about converting to, to those fixed-rate mortgages. Um, we're, a big, uh, we're a big believer at First Republic on con uh, FHA and conventional fixed-rate mortgages. And I really think for most people, especially people with any kind of income, a steady income check where they have a regular job right. and you know what their income's going to kind of be paycheck to paycheck you really don't want the risk of an adjustable and why a lot of people um went went into those adjustables the last two, uh, two years three years is really you know it's really scary to me because i'm a conservative thinker and i want to know what my paycheck what my paycheck is and also more important what my mortgage payment's going to be november october november december i want to know what that payment is going to be. And if, and if I don't know, that makes me scared. And I, I know there's a lot of listeners out there that have these adjustables. And they're not sure. They know the adjustment's coming. And I can tell you from the stats that we see, there's going to be more adjustables coming due in the next 12 months than in the history of the banking department. So those, you know, when your payment jumps up $500, $600, $700, and you've got some major credit issues, maybe with credit cards, installment debt, auto loans. That's a situation that's going to cause you to have a lot of stress. And you know what? Most of the people, when I actually sit down and we look at their credit reports and we have a plan of attack on how to merge all these negative, and I call them negative debts because you're not getting any write-offs from Uncle Sam. You're not getting tax deductions. And you know what? You're exchanging 20%, 30% debt, in this case, to the FHA 5.875. Now what would you rather pay? 20 or 30% debt or 5.875?